Jamaica is that not all their stars are there. Ronaldo, Cafu, they're out. But just look at that lineup. You've got Taffarel in goal, Zé Maria, Baiano, Consalves, Silva, Conceal, Zinho, Danielson Jr., and then, of course, Romario and Amundo up front. That is a powerful lineup. And that man, Romario, he knows how to find goals in a big way. This guy sticks him in the net as well as any player in the world playing his club soccer back in Brazil. For Jamaica, their coach, Rene Samoas, he's got his hands full because talking with him this morning, he said, I've got to make a team out of 11 individuals. He's got a very experienced goalkeeper in Barrett, Sinclair, Brown, Gardner, Dixon, and Goodison. They're packing it in at the back, playing with really what amounts to five defenders. Guys that are going to have to find the net for them up front is number 22, Hall, number 18, Burton. They've got their hands full. And then, of course, the guy that's going to have his hands busy tonight is their goalkeeper, Warren Bennett. He's played a lot for Jamaica. That will help him, but Brazil's going to come at him in a big way. Dion Burton out there along with Paul Hall. They'll kick it off for Jamaica, wearing the green and gold. Brazil in their traditional uniform. And here we go. Fitzroy Simpson plays the ball long, far side. Into the area, but the flag went up. He has officiated at just about every level in the United States and was on the FIFA list over the last couple of years. Gardner plays it ahead, but the offside flag went up. Paul Hall was in an offside position, got in behind the Brazilian defense. Ball played back. Edmundo plays for Fiorentina of Italian Syria. Ahead it comes, played towards the area. Romario can't catch up to it. Nice move by Whitmore. A little ole from the crowd here in Miami. Well, the early moments of this game so important, I think, Kevin, for this Jamaica team. How devastating it would be to put the underdog down by a goal early on. You look at Mario Zagallo. He said that he had trouble fielding players, and now a little bit of a discussion along the touchline following the foul that took down Conceição. Actually, the tackle and the players kind of getting in each other's faces a little bit. We'll see on the replay, just a dangerous tackle there from behind against Flavio Conceição. Number 24, Gardner, ends up getting a yellow card because of it. Brazil, the number one team in the most recent FIFA rankings. Zé Maria. Dion Burton gets a touch. Looking again up front for Paul Hall. Foul spotted by Essie Baharmas. Rene Samoas three years ago predicted his team would get to the World Cup. A lot of folks said that this guy was just mad. Even a lot of fans in Jamaica. But now he has been proven right. His team is headed to France this summer. This here's a little bit of a test from Brazil to the maturity of the Jamaican players. Brazil plays the ball back to their goalkeeper with the idea of drawing the Jamaica players out, giving them more space in the midfield and in the offensive thirds of the field. Jamaica showing some real discipline there, not buying into it, just lays off. And now here they've won possession in the midfield. They play the ball long. Opportunity here. The shot, Taparel, the save. That time. With a nice move, sets up the shot. And Tafarel saves a goal. Once again, Edmundo. And his shot caroms over the end line. Now Edmundo. Looking for Romario. A steal here, Zé Maria. 
Lines it to the 18. In front, the shot! One time! Edmundo! Kevin Edmundo just blessed with a golden opportunity. Batman Warren Barrett, he breathes a sigh of relief. And of course, the Brazil bench not happy that Edmundo didn't do more with that. You talk about ability. Romario, every bit, with every intention and every purpose, used his chest to play the ball up over his head behind him to an overlapping or a through running Edmundo. Quick restart. Danielson. Going one-on-one -on -one against Linval Dixon. Finally gives it up. Again, it's Danielson. Now Edmundo. Here's Edmundo dribbling through trouble. In front! The shot of the save by Barrett! And Barrett may be hurt! And finally, the trainers are called out. Warren Barrett. Well, watching Edmundo dribble that ball through, we get another look here. This ball's on a string. Overpowers the Jamaican defender, and then he takes his shot. I think the bad news for Warren Barrett is he got the ball where it hurts. By making himself big, doesn't matter what part of the body you save it with. You just got to keep it out of your net. Warren Barrett did it, but why is Brazil so great? You just saw it there. I tell you, a play like Edmundo just takes your breath away if you're a soccer fan. Here's a chance for Brazil. Going wide, the shot! Pushed wide that time, and was Zinho cutting the ball to his left. Good idea by Conceição Sal there to take the shot, just a little slow in developing and allowed the Jamaican defense to block the shot before it really flew anywhere. Zé Maria plays it in. Moro Silva stymied at the 18. Cleared all the way back. Fitzroy Simpson, he plays it wide. Jamaica has been anything but intimidated, although Brazil has controlled the play. Jamaica has played with great poise to this point. Headed away, Romario touches to Danielson. Danielson runs past Cargo. Cargo finally just grabs some shirt. Danielson keeps it alive. Crossed in front and rejected. Jamaica will counter the other way with nine and a half minutes left. Here in the first half, offside flag goes up. The timing of the run so important going forward. Ian Goodison plays it back. Linval Dixon plays it to the outside for Jamaica. No score. They are playing even with Brazil, the best team in the world. Brazil has threatened but they have not scored. Romario coming all the way back. Look how far back he came that time. Theodore Whitmore draws the applause of the Jamaican fans in attendance here at the Orange Bowl. Watching how this Jamaica team has played virtually this entire 40 or so minutes of the first half, so composed and although have given up some opportunities, have one in particular, but a couple themselves, that's why these games are so important to their growth and development and progress. It really gives them an opportunity to experience and learn through competition. Boy, Edmundo has been really high-pressuring the Jamaican backs. Edmundo now calling for the trainers. Essie Baharma says, get up. Pushed outside to Zé Maria. The chip out in front. Mm -hmm. 
We are into injury time. Now to Nielsen with some open space and a winger on the left. The cross in front, and go oh, again, Barrett got a piece of it. Romario. He denies Romario again. Warren Barrett just huge, Kevin, with a save in the waning moments of the first half. I thought Jamaica had made the fatal mistake with Ian Goodison, number five, the defender getting beat by Romario to the ball. Not staying with his man. And I believe the offside flag did go up. You could see it on that replay. Romario was in behind the defense when the pass was made. And that's it. Romario and Brazil. Scoreless at the end of 45 minutes. This man, Warren Barrett, 120 caps for Jamaica has played like Superman here in the first half. At the end of 45 minutes, Brazil and Jamaica scoreless. We're underway in the second half. Junior plays it inside for Denilson. Junior again back to Denilson. Burton, his shot, Taparel goes diving to his left. That's just a quality play by Jamaica, Kevin. That is capitalizing on a turnover in midfield, immediately go on the attack. Number 18, Deion Burton with a shot. Now the other way, Zinho plays a quick ball for Romario. Shot down. Ian Goodison guilty of the foul. Brazil may be the best country in the entire world as it relates to restarts. As we get a look at the foul, Ian Goodison just challenging in kind of a reckless way that is now given Brazil, although maybe a little bit far away, great opportunity to do some stuff with a free kick. Zinho bends it and it hits the post. It hit the woodwork. Junior Baiano tries to keep it alive. Now ahead, Romario. Romario shoots wide of goal. That was dangerous. And it all began with Zinho's free kick. Oh, this is just a great free kick over the wall, dipping down low enough. Would have gone in the goal, except it was too much. Out to the side, hits the goal post. Zinho just giving us a great example of the talent that these Brazilian players have on dead ball situations in the attacking third of the field. We knew that this would be fun. I don't think we knew it would be scoreless. Paul Hall to the end line, takes a little shoulder from Gonçalves. And a goal kick coming up for Taparau. Now to the middle, some space. Straight up the middle. Edmundo. Nice little one-two. Played right side. Romario the shot. Barrett got a piece of it. Romario walked in all alone. Just and here it is again. A great give and go. A great pass to number 11, Romario from Edmundo. And although they're giving Jamaica a goal kick, it was saved by Barrett. You saw it on that last replay that Barrett got a piece of it, but they gave Jamaica the goal kick. Missed call there, but wow. Brazil again an opportunity. Again, Barrett, goalpost, whatever the reason is, becoming less and less important. What is important? Some of the color and pageantry. 
that follows Jamaica and Brazil wherever they play, including the Orange Bowl here in Miami. And this really is much like what they ran into, what the Brazilians ran into in the Confederations Cup against Australia. Australia just put a lot of people behind the ball. Here's a deflection. That could have been dangerous. Barrett was moving left. The ball deflected right. You talk about the ability of these Brazilian players. Series of give and goes right through the heart of the or Jamaican defense. Number seven, Junior to Romario. And then Romario ends up having his last pass broken up as this game presses on. It's either going to be the individual effort going forward or the mistake at the back. Edmundo is very close, I think, to possibly getting a yellow pulled on him. Twice tonight, Essie Bahamas has had to tell him to get up. Flag goes up as the ball crossed the line. Edmundo trying to draw the foul. You see the ball going in that direction. Maybe embellishing on a little bit of contact there, but you see Essie just saying, hey, get up. Leon Burton. Plays with Darby County. Great speed, but I think at the end he was simply out of gas. He'd made so many runs. But I think a lot of fans around the world expected Brazil to dominate. And at least from a scoring standpoint, they certainly have not. Well, and the Brazilian fans probably the most demanding of that. As a Gallo, you just you can just tell he's not happy. He doesn't want to walk out of this game with a tie. I think Brazilian defenders are a little fatigued. They've been chasing some people up top. And some pretty fast guys, too. Oh, no doubt. Deion Burton is just flying all over the field, making many a through type of run, which, of course, those long sprints are the ones that will wear you out the most. Zinho to the outside. Now cuts it in. The cross, though, handled easily. Rene Samoas talked to us this afternoon and said we want to cut down their passing lanes. We want to just eliminate them, and they've done that. Good thing for Jamaica to do would be to try and catch Brazil mapping a little bit. Do a quick counterattack, catch Brazil off guard, and maybe do the unthinkable. Paul Hall, the cross in front, knocked down at the six-yard line. Every Jamaican fan in the place is on his or her feet. I think Jamaican fans in the stands are sensing perhaps a point or maybe more. Rene Samoas, he senses it, and he's now trying to inspire his players. There it is, guys. We've got him where we want. We're 17 minutes away from a tie. Lift our energy level here maybe a bit, and we might even get a goal. The Jamaicans have been very aggressive in their tackling. Part of that is just their nature, and you, got, you just have to love it because there is an innocence about it. It doesn't have the malice that you see maybe a more experienced or knowledgeable player. Danielson wards off one tackler. Danielson. Tries to take it wide. Ball still alive along the end line. Look at Danielson now taking the defensive role. And actually doing a fine job of it against a much taller player in Theodore Whitmore. Ball played back to Edmundo. Solid defensive play, Fitzroy Simpson. Paul Hall, another long run. Right there with him, Gonzalez. The cross. And Gonzalez went down on the ground. Good thing that Paul Hall crossed that out of bounds. He's like the Energizer Bunny. Now Danielson with some open space. Looking to Romario. Lays it off. Edmundo. Edmundo, the shot over the bar. 
who had Mundo almost does the phenomenal, and that is chip the goalkeeper. We get a look at Sagalo. And then, of course, you mentioned how tired Paul Hall is on the replay here. Watch how Edmundo kind of takes his shot, but it deflects off of a defender, resulting in a corner kick off of Garner. Jamaica trying to get the goal, the deflection, and Taffarel, fortunately, was down in the right spot. That ball deflected in on goal. Well, that was just a tired leg that swung at that ball that almost ended up getting in behind Taparel. And we're going to see, I think, another card here for just a tired tackle foul against Nilsson as he was penetrating right down the middle of the field. That actually now the fourth yellow card called against. There's Romario, the shot save made. Edmundo can't come up with a rebound. Edmundo was right there. Another injured player, Junior, down on the Orange Bowl turf. Replay of the shot there again. Warren Barrett just true to every challenge that Brazil has thrown at him. Are really wanting to accomplish something. Paul Hall going one on one. Gets past his man down in the area. And what do we have? Nothing, says Essie Bahamas. Well, and number four. Gonçalves for Brazil is down on the ground. I think, Kevin, as we get another look at it, although not really intentional, I think Gonçalves falls on the heels of 22, Paul Hall. That's in the penalty area. That's the penalty kick. And now some debris being thrown on the field. This is one of the maturity things there. I'm not so sure that Gonçalves is really hurt as much as he is wanting to go along with the sympathy of S.A. Bahamas, making sure he doesn't award a penalty kick. Under seven minutes to go. Still no score. Jamaica and Brazil, the reggae boys, playing a strong, strong game and with an opportunity to win this. Jamaica, a team that has grown in confidence with two ties to end World Cup qualifying. And now they're playing the best team in the world and they have an opportunity to win. Samoas thought a handball should have been called. They've got to be my boy. Edmundo. Ahead it comes to Nielsen, to Romario, and again Barrett comes up big for Jamaica. And Barrett may be hurt. As quickly as you think that Brazil has tired themselves out, a couple of passes, and they're right back knocking on the door again. Anytime you have players Going for a ball in opposite directions. We see number 11, Romario, go in on a breakaway. Barrett comes out and clears it away. But I think, actually, Barrett collides with number five, Goodison, here. As they both are sliding on the ground, M Romario goes over the top. I think it is Goodison and Barrett that collide. And Warren Barrett. A magnificent performance for the Jamaican keeper tonight. What a shocker this would be if Jamaica would come away with a point here in Miami against the best team in the world, Junior Baiano. Lays it back, Cesar. Junior Baiano. Bill's way of approaching at this particular juncture in the game, Kevin, is 
they will likely really invest a lot of energy and ambition going forward in the last couple of minutes of the game, wanting to get that goal when players are tired. Edmundo to his left. Zinho to Romario. Flag went up, though, offside. Romario was in an offside position. And it's going well for you. It goes well when it's not. Of course, it's not. We see Zagallo and Samoas. Romario clearly just got himself in behind as we see. It stopped there perfect. He is in behind the last defender and in an offside position. Great call by the officiating crew here. We are now into injury time. Long ball played for Linval Dixon. Junior Bayano plays it back in for Taparel. What an amazing contest this has been. From Miami's Orange Bowl. Here's Romario. Romario goes down. And the ball played up into the crowd. Well, Romario had absolutely no support forward. His Brazilian teammates just decided to let him go it alone. He tried to make something for nothing. Jamaica, it's a 90-plus minute game long here. It's not over just yet. Yet to look at the way they kind of approach that last throw-in, they're playing the game like it's already over to a certain extent. Linval Dixon breaks that play up as Edmundo tried to move past him. The defense for Jamaica has just played magnificently. Flag stays down. Moving in, Simpson. Simpson. Jamaica can still win this. Ball crossed in front. Headed out, Edmundo. Battles in the midfield. Jamaica comes away with it again. Whitmore. Holding. Paul Hall. Wouldn't this be magnificent for Jamaica if they come up with a point? Ball played long. Whitmore. Knocked down there, and we're going to get a caution here. Junior Bayano gets red carded. Junior Bayano is gone. Kevin, that is a devastating call for Brazil. Junior Viano, it's actually a straight red card, which means he will be suspended for the next game. Ooh. But you look at his right arm. As he comes forward, his right arm is all targeted at number 11 space, Theodore Whitmore. A well-deserved red card. For Junior Bayano. I think the players that are arguing on his behalf didn't see what we just had the opportunity to see. And now Zagallo has to make a tactical adjustment. Look at the right arm. Comes up. He's just walking straight by the ball, going straight into the player. But Zagallo, what he has to do now is make another adjustment. Jamaica with... Plenty of numbers behind the ball. And that's it! Jamaica, the reggae boys, gain a point against the best team in the world. Brazil and Jamaica play 90-plus minutes. A scoreless draw. And listen to this crowd cheering the reggae boys. We come back with more here on Fox. 